In this video, we'll show how to uh, get the error measures shown in Table 4.8 on page 143. We'll follow a procedure that's slightly different than what's described in the text. Um, here we show uh, the four images in the uh, little toy archive. Um, they're all PGM images, uh, Gold Hill, Boat, uh, Airfield, and Peppers. Now the first step is to do a wavelet transform, which we've already selected here. Uh, let's look at graph one first. Coif 18 transform four. We'll do the uh, four level uh, column examples. Um, uh, now we click plot, and we get there a four level transform for graph one. Graph two, same thing. Now we'll copy that graph. Once we've copied it, we can get rid of this window. Go to the previous window and paste it in. Um, now once you've done all four of those, then you can zoom in by right-clicking down near the bottom left corner and change the x and y coordinates to both zeros there and zoom in until you just see the basically the trend uh, uh, show image uh, shown there. Same with that one. Now we went through that uh, procedure with all the uh, images in our toy archive and uh, here's the result. And so those are uh, the trend uh, uh, sub-images from each of the uh, images in the archive. Now, for comparison, we'll, uh, de we'll make a noisy image of boat uh, image and then denoise it. And we'll compare with that uh, denoised image. So to create the noisy image, we'll add uh, standard deviation 20 uh, mean zero uh, Gaussian random noise to the image. Takes a moment. Uh, we want an actual 8-bit image, so we'll quantize that uh, noisy graph. Um, once we've done that, we'll get rid of it now. And now we'll denoise that. Uh, here we'll use the built-in uh, wavelet procedure in Wave, which was discussed in a previous section. Use DAUB 9.7, it's graph number 2, 5 levels, and we'll do an averaging. We click this to do an averaging, uh, which will produce a better denoising. So we'll plot that. It takes a little bit because of all the shiftings it has to do and averagings and denoisings of those shiftings which were discussed in that previous section. There. Okay, now we'll do a uh, wavelet transform on that graph. Uh, graph 3, 4 levels. We want a coif 18. And let's uh, copy that and paste that into a uh, new form. We'll get rid of this now. And we'll zoom in on that. Enough times so we see just the trend. Now we'll go back and do comparisons. Let's look at this one here, the Gold Hill one. And paste in there. Notice even at this uh, very tiny resolution images, you can roughly make out uh, the original images and can see that they are uh, much different here. And the error measure confirms that. Uh, so we want uh, power norm, power 2, we want a relative 
to the norm error. And uh, we get uh, 0.426. Um, and uh, that's uh, exactly the same as what was in our uh, archive, I mean on the table. And uh, now if we copy this one and paste that in and then take uh, two norm difference there, we get a very tiny relative two norm difference. much smaller than uh, with comparing with the Gold Hill one. Okay, maybe one more example. Uh, let's look at the home here, the airfield one. And uh, now we want a relative norm difference with 1 and 4. We get 0.497. Um, and so we're getting uh, essentially s same values as we're in the table, and we can easily distinguish uh, the two uh, fair, pretty matching images here of the uh, boat and the denoised uh, boat uh, image. So that illustrates how we got the numbers that are in table 4.8. Uh, thank you for watching.